So now I'd like to take a look at using grid view and details view to put them together into a master details uh, view. Uh, we're going to keep using the same website that we've been using. So I'll get it open here in Visual Web Developer. And what I would like to happen is for there to be less information showing here in the grid view so that maybe postal code and name were displayed and then if you you have the option to select and when you select that particular state it'll take you to a details view that has more details so it would have the capital the state bird the state flower any other information that we wanted to have back here so to get started doing that first thing I'm going to do is rename my pages so I do that right here within Visual Web Developer I can right click and select rename and I want to name this states so this is going to be a list of all of our states now notice when I rename the page it also renames the code behind and when I open the page it renames the references within the code. So this is a good way to go about renaming the files. Uh, to just get into the folder and rename the files uh, would cause some problems getting everything linked together, changing the name and the code behind and whatnot. So uh, it actually needs to be changed on the main page, the code behind, and then the reference to it here. Uh, so doing it within Visual Web Developer handles all that for us. All right, so within the grid view, this is the page where it's just going to show me uh, the list of everything, and then I can select into it. So I want to modify my grid view a little bit. I'm going to remove editing and deleting. I'm going to handle that in the details view. I want to edit the columns. And I'm going to remove capital, bird, and flower. So now I basically have two columns. Uh, I need to, it would be postal code and state. And I want to add a third column over here to select, uh, to be able to select the state. So to do that, I'm going to use a hyperlink field. So I select it as one of my available fields. And I click add. And now it's down here. Under text. I'm going to type view details and if I scroll down here to data navigate URL fields this is going to be the primary key so state ID data navigate URL format string so this is going to be the page I want passed I want the ID passed to, so state details dot ASPX. So that's the name of the page, the details page. Then a question mark separates the page from the query string. So what follows now is a query string. So going into state details, I want to pass the query string state ID, or the primary key, equals, and then this wildcard. So curly bracket, zero, curly bracket. So now when the user clicks on the text view details, it will open up state details.aspx and it will pass the state ID for the item that's been selected. We'll okay that. So now that I'm passing it to state details, I need to rename details view. and call it state details.aspx save everything and let's view this in the browser so now when I click on the view details for Iowa it's going to find the state ID for Iowa, pass that state ID to state details.aspx, and show me more details about Iowa.
except it's not working. We have to go in and configure the data source on state details to look up based on the state ID. So let's do that now. So I want to get into state details. Get into the data source. Uh, from state facts, everything is fine. Generate the insert, update, and delete statements. Uh, now I want to do where the state ID, so the primary key, is equal to the query string that's getting passed back. For the query string field, I want to put state ID. There's no default value. Next, I'll click Add. OK. Next, Test. Now, it wants me to enter a state ID. So if I put in 5, uh, there is no state ID 5, so let me put in 20. So the state ID 20 is associated with North Dakota. So the query is working correctly. So in here, um, the state fields look good. Um, Edit, delete, new, that all looks good. I can remove paging. I have no need to page. I'm just opening a single record. Okay, so that all looks good. So let's save it. So now let's see what happens when we test this. So I'll refresh the page, just highlight it, press F5. So now when I select the view details for Oregon, remember this grid view knows what the state ID is for Oregon. It knows that primary key. It'll pass that primary key to statedetails.aspx. The SQL uh, data source in state details looks up. Uh, it finds the state ID that was passed to it and gets the rest of the record for it. So it looks like Oregon has a state ID of 8. And then from here, we can continue to edit. And we can delete. Notice it just sits there, and that's a problem that we'll clean up. And now Oregon is gone. Okay, so again, the the data source for the grid view pulls everything. It pulls star, so it knows for Iowa when I click on or Indiana when I click on view details it already knows what the state ID is here in grid view. When I click on view details, it's going to pass the, the, the state ID or the primary key for this record to state details.aspx. The data source for state details.aspx is configured to take that state ID that's passed to it and then go look up the rest of the record and display that record. Okay, so we've got the master details working correctly. Here we're seeing a little bit of information. When we click into it, we see more information. So the last thing I would like to be able to do uh, is insert a new record. So right now, if I'm here and I wanted to insert a new record, I'd have to go view a details of an existing record and then click new. And that's a little cumbersome. So I'd like to have a very, my very own page that I could go to uh, and it's a new record. So let's get let's work on that. So it's basically going to be using the state details, uh, all of the details for for it, uh, and it's just uh, we're going to change a mode. So let's just copy this. We'll paste it into the root. So now we have a copy of it. We're going to rename this to new state. Let's 
open new state. I'm going to click on the details view and now when I come over here to the properties of the details view I'm looking for default mode. Default mode is set to read only. I want to change that to insert. So now anytime this page is called when the details view opens the property of the details view says this is going to be an insert and so it opens up in a blank uh, with blank boxes ready to receive the new um, information. I can disable editing and deleting. I don't need those. All I need is insert. Uh, I can edit fields, postal code, name, capital bird, flower. That all looks fine. Leave that. Okay, everything looks good there. So let's save all of this up and we'll test it in the browser. So now when I view it in the browser, new state automatically comes up ready to receive uh, information. So I can just stick some bogus information in there. When I insert, I can go back to states so I can view them all and there's my new record. So I've worked with master details. I've taken this master which is the grid view. When I click on the hyperlink to view the details it passes it off to the page that has a details view passing that primary key. The, the details page looks it up based on that primary key and displays the record and from there I can edit it, I can delete it, or I can create a new one. To make it a little more efficient, if I just wanted to create a new uh, record right off the bat, I could go to new state dot ASPX and be able to just insert a new state. And again, this is just a copy of that details view. Everything was pretty much the same. We changed the default mode to insert.